It's Monday after the Masters and the Barefoot Resort in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina is playing host once again to a charity pro-am run by Grammy Award winning artists Hootie and the Blowfish. The band along with other stars from stage, screen and sport were there to celebrate the 20th year of the event and the South Carolina locals turned out in force to support a tournament that's raised over $5 million for charity. We definitely didn't think that far in advance, but we didn't think it lasted 20 years. You know, it's, it's pretty amazing to still be here and still raise the money for kids. And you know, it's, it's, we're really proud of what we built here. I think back today uh, to where we started and what it was then and what it is now is just it's mind boggling. And uh, I just couldn't be more proud of everyone involved. We have 600 volunteers. We have an incredible staff. We have great partners down here. Um, and everybody has just embraced it as their own. I mean, since we've been here for the very first year. The event started out raising money for the South Carolina Junior Golf Association, but things have changed, and now the band supports a series of junior golf events every summer that gives boys and girls the chance to compete on a weekly basis. A local tournament which supported South Carolina Junior Golf came to us and said, could you sponsor it? Could you, you know, get it to the next level potentially? And we were all playing a little golf at the time, so we thought, hey, why not? With golf, I think we've been able to find a way that, that kids can have a game that they learn trust and honor and you know making sure that you have a lot of self-confidence to be able to go out there. We found golf is probably the greatest game for that. We believe in the game of golf, that it teaches good things. And, and kids that are, excel at golf are, can excel at other things. And, uh, and so that's why scholarships for junior golfers make sense. And the kids coming out of that and going into the, uh, you know, getting scholarships in NCAA schools and, and uh, going on to the PGA, I mean, that just, it just warms your heart up when you see it, you know, the money we raise actually, the finished product in, in a person. The band's charitable efforts went up a notch in 2000 when they established the Hootie and the Blowfish Foundation. The annual program is now the organization's biggest fundraiser and improving education in South Carolina now the biggest focus of the money raised. We wanted to make sure we took care of South Carolina. The education in South Carolina has always been uh, low um, as far as the you know, ranking in states, and we want to do everything we can to try to help the kids that are in rural or urban areas get a better education. South Carolina and all over the country, education is, we think, is could be a lot better, and, and so we try to help charities that are, are kid-oriented and education-oriented, and, you know, it's just to have, to give people a little helping hand, that's it. It's a nice resource for the state now, um, and people can come to us with their grant requests, we can, and we can look at them personally and pick ones that are close to our heart or um, maybe music related and certainly education related, which has been the main theme, and really uh, know that we're making a difference here in the state. The band are very grateful to all the celebrity guests who take part in the Pro-Am and of course to the PGA Tour players who give up their time between tournaments to lend their support to the cause and sprinkle a little stardust on proceedings whilst helping to raise the event's profile. My wife and I run an event. I know how hard it is. I know uh, when someone says, yeah, I'll come play, how, how good we feel about that. So it's nice to reciprocate. Darius has helped me out at our event. But more than anything else, we just enjoy it. It's a great event. It's for a great cause. And, you know, they get a lot of great guys coming out here. And, you know, I'm happy to support them. Obviously, this, you know, this is kind of consider it my hometown. You know, I really enjoy coming back to Myrtle Beach and, and playing for all my fans here. And, you know, it's just a great cause and a great event. They do a great job with it. Celebrities and the, and, the, and the pro golfers that come every year and, and support us and come out and have a great time, you know, it's just amazing that we can have friends like that to, to give up their whole day to come out here. And do, especially, the, you know, a lot of the pros are going down the hill to play. They gave up this Monday to come play with us. So it's pretty cool. Everybody over here, watch out. Some of these people should watch out. <laughs> Even with their success, they've always just been regular guys. Uh, guys you can sit down, have a beer with, hang out with, go play around a golf club. Um, and they've never changed from that. And I think because of those relationships, they've been able to uh, come along and, and, and develop that over a 20 year period of time. Their hard work has certainly paid dividends to the extent that going forward, the Hootie and the Blowfish Foundation will be able to make a difference to future generations in South Carolina, as well as the current one.
to have the band's kids and hopefully their kids be able to continue the efforts that they put together um, by being able to give out money for, for the rest of their lives. Our government can't do everything. They can't support all the need that's out there, and some of it's education, some social, and and uh, we know we can. You know, if we can go out and play golf and uh, get a lot of people enthused about opening up their checkbooks for a good cause, then we're going to keep doing it. So I don't know if 20 years will will be the the greatest uh, level we reach.